Oh, hey there. Welcome Ow. <laughs> to the future. I'm trying to get it, do it again. Let's do a giveaway. Let's do a Tiff and Tech sweatshirt giveaway. I mean, I'm wearing the Tiff and Tech hoodie right now, which is amazing. And then we also have the crew neck, which I'll put up on screen here too. I love our YouTube community here. So let's do this giveaway. Okay, how is this gonna work? All right, leave in the comments a tech prediction for 2024 that I didn't share about. Just one other prediction you have. And then what I will do in, by end of week, I'll leave in the community tab here on YouTube. Um, I'll pick three winners. I'll randomly scroll and just stop and pick three winners and ship you three hoodies. All right, and you have to leave your size or I'll message you or I'll comment back and uh, let you know you're the winner. I think it'd be fun. Let's do it. Take two. Oh, hey there. Welcome to the future. What makes us the future, you ask? Well, that's a very good question. Maybe it's because I spend too much time online reading about tech trends that happened in 2023, looking ahead at where innovations are, where tech is at, and spending way too much time on the internet. Today, we are going to go through some top tech protect. It's a tongue twister. Today, we are going to go through some top tech predictions for 2024. These predictions will help you not only have an understanding as where tech as a whole is headed, where the industry is headed, but also to help you have an understanding as to where you might want to put your learnings. Now, some of these you might not be might not be necessarily applicable for learning a new skill, but what they will do is provide you with insight and expertise to be ahead of the group. The group, who is the group? This sounds starting to sound very futuresque now. Ahead of, ahead of the industry with looking ahead, knowing what's coming. And from there, I think it will help you make better decisions when it comes to your career, when it comes to your role, all of the above. Being informed is so important. Knowing what's coming up over the curve in 2024 will really help set you apart. So today we are going to cover some tech trends, tech predictions for 2024. All right, let's get to it. You can tell this is end of day. I've had too much coffee, too much coffee. The first tech prediction I wanna share with you is actually not one of my own, but we are leaning on industry, people who have been in the industry for decades, which I cannot say I've been in the industry for decades yet anyway. But no, I'm leaning on someone who has years and years and years of experience, which is Amazon CTO. Now, I don't know, I was reading his tech predictions for 2024 recently, and I thought it was really interesting because there was a lot on there that I agreed with. One being this one, I'm gonna read it to you. He says, he predicts in 2024, it will be the year in which the college education model will finally crack down in favor of industry-led skills-based training. That means companies have to shift not only how they hire, but also how they design the workplace to make sure their people are constantly learning. This, in my opinion, is something that has been put off for way too long. Industry skills that you are actually learning while you are in school. Now that isn't to take away what we are learning in school or in a formal education setting to be not important or theory-based learning to not be the same level as more of these skill-based tangible learnings. But what I do think it is, is it is missing from the educational system. And then we get into the workforce and too often we're like, now what do we do? I, I, I learned theory, I didn't learn practical hands-on skills that I can take or tangible things I can actually take into my job. So by introducing this earlier on when you are in school, I think this will really help. However, I do think there are a few things to know. If this trend does happen, this prediction from Amazon CTO does occur, what does that mean for us who are already working in the industry? For those of us who are junior, mid, or senior, one thing I think it will do is drive up the competition. Tech is evolving and changing so quickly that as people who are, you know, typically in school, young, you know, from high school to uh, college graduates, they are going to come into the workforce more prepared than ever if this trend does occur, I'm not saying otherwise. And what this will do is we'll put more pressure and more emphasis on people working in the industry already to continue to upskill. So what does this all come down to? It comes down to something we talk about in almost every video of mine, which is continuous learning or forever learning. There will be this significance if you want to grow and succeed in your career around forever learning. Gone are the days where we can get a nine to five and the learning stops. Whether you are in tech or otherwise, for most industries, we'll stick to tech though, you will need to keep on learning. And this doesn't have to be at this high pressure pace. What it does mean though for employers 
is good employers and things to look for when you are looking for an employer are do they offer learning credits? Do they offer learning time? What is the budget for buying courses at your work? That's very key. Next up, I predict in 2024, we are going to see huge breakthroughs with quantum computing. I mean, this is really based on all the breakthroughs we've been seeing in 2023. I have up on my screen here, do you remember back in June, we're going way back now, uh, IBM came out with an article or shared about an article with Forbes that says, IBM achieves breakthroughs in quantum computing. Back in June, they were sharing some major breakthroughs they made with quantum computing. And this hit the internet, you saw it pretty much everywhere you looked, there were some major breakthroughs made. So what was this problem that IBM's quantum computer solved? Well, for the first time, they used their quantum computer to solve a problem that would stump the leading classical methods. So this basically is an accomplishment that would mark significant milestones in the path towards useful quantum computing systems and software. Now, for those of you who aren't as familiar with quantum computing, one of the things that still blows my mind and I find hard to wrap my head around to be honest with you is unlike traditional computers where they can solve one problem at once so it's either true or false we all know that with quantum computers they can solve multiple problems at the same time that is why scientists are working so hard when it comes to quantum computing being able to mugs Two minute pause. That is why quantum computing scientists are working so hard to find solutions or find methods or ways to solve problems that we haven't been able to crack yet. I mean, think about everything being able to solve in double the time when it comes to finding new drug discovery, new medicine, that has the potential to solve so many uh, or find so many cures for different diseases or uh, ailments. It's, it's going to completely change everything. Now, why 2024? Well, once again, looking back at all the major breakthroughs from 2023, I think this is gonna be our year for quantum computing. Equally with all the positives of quantum computing comes some things that have scientists a little weary. One being the potential for quantum computing to break encryption. Now, I don't think this is something we will have to worry about in 2024 or maybe ever, as they are working on putting a lot of safeguards around this. But here is what they mean when they say that quantum computing has the potential to break encryption and why it is so important at least that it's being thought about right now. If quantum computing is able to break encryption, which essentially means solve encrypted uh, passwords or different things like that, I mean, first of all, our security systems would completely go out the window from everything from medical, banks, et cetera, which would be catastrophic to say the least. The other thing though, if it had the potential to break encryption before we found a solution for it, it would mean that, I don't even know how we could go back from that. So scientists are working on putting safeguards up for that, that this does not, quantum computing does not get used in this way. Only time will tell. There's a lot of theories on both sides, if or if not, this will happen. I think regardless, we are far away from quantum computing getting to that point, but it is a very interesting thought. You know how they say on TikTok, for those of you on TikTok, they go, my Roman Empire. And if you're not on TikTok, I don't blame you. But basically what it means is something you think about all the time. Quantum computing getting to the point where it can break encryption, that is my Roman Empire. That is something I literally will just be going to the grocery store and it'll just pop in my head. I'm like, can you imagine if in my lifetime it gets to the point where it can break encryption? Like, what would that look like? How would the world react? I don't know, curious to get your thoughts on this. Maybe I'm crazy on it. I read a lot about quantum computing and I think it's very interesting. Curious to hear if you do too. All right, you know there had to be a tech prediction in here around artificial intelligence, specifically generative AI. Of course there did. I mean, come on, it's a list for 2024. I had to include it. And I thought, what am I going to include around generative AI? Because when you look back from where we were a year ago to now, not in my wildest dreams could I have predicted what would have come. I mean. A year ago, ChatGPT just celebrated its first birthday, which is pretty mind-blowing when you think about everything that has come from that, both good and bad. What are my predictions for generative AI when it comes to 2024? Are developers gonna become extinct? Data scientists gone? I mean, can we all just move to Mexico and call it a day? Well, I think we might be a little too soon for that, but curious to hear your thoughts if we will even get to that point. Leave down in the comments. Let's have some good discussions around it. But where I truly think generative AI will get to in 2024, let's focus on some tooling. I think it will really be more specialized and honed in for uh, different career paths. So I think when it comes to software developers or data scientists, 
We will start using generative AI tools anyways is part of our workflow. It will be almost unheard of if you are learning a new skill, if you are building a new app to not use generative AI. I think by the end of 24, if you're not using generative AI at some point in your build process, you will be behind. That's a pretty bold statement. So I'm happy to have conversations around this in the comments. The other thing I think generative AI will really exceed in in 2024 is content creation. I mean, am I, is, is, am I, am I going to have a YouTube, you know, career in 2024? Thank goodness I still work full time in tech. What I think around generative AI and content creation will happen though is I recently saw it was Pika Labs who shared with the world now, two Stanford grads, that you can now input text, so input a prompt, and it will make this beautiful visual video or this beautiful video. And I'll put it up on screen here. You can literally type in whatever comes to mind. And if you want it to be realism, cartoons, drawings, you now have a video. I think that's gonna be so useful for content creators or even myself, I can see me using it a lot when it comes to explaining technical things or wanting to have some real world examples. But when you think about the other side, for animators, for video creators, what does this mean for them? I think they are going to go through a lot of these pains that we went through in 2023 as developers uh, around generative AI. And I think as generative AI continues to evolve, different workforces, different work fields or industries will feel these pain points that I think honestly the tech industry was one of the first ones to really experience. Not necessarily for loss of jobs the first to experience with AI, but the first to have to learn to really grow with it. We really did as tech as a whole in tech had to learn this past year to grow with generative AI and to start using these tools at a very quick pace. 2023 was a year. All right, those are my top three tech predictions for 2024. To stay ahead of the game, we got this. We are all here together doing this. Um, I think one of the best things about the Tiffin Tech community is we are always learning and growing and upskilling and supporting each other. I see the comments you leave on each other's uh, comments on these videos, whether it be answering someone's question or leaving a resource for someone, and it's truly incredible. And that's what Tiffin Tech really stands for, is building each other up in this community. On that note, very spur of the moment, but I just decided this second, let's do a giveaway. Let's do a Tiff and Tech sweatshirt giveaway. I mean, I'm wearing the Tiff and Tech hoodie right now, which is amazing. And then we also have the crew neck, which I'll put up on screen here too. I love our YouTube community here. So let's do this giveaway. Okay. How is this going to work? All right. Leave in the comments a tech prediction for 2024 that I didn't share about. Just one other prediction you have. And then what I will do in, by end of week, I'll leave in the community tab here on YouTube. Um, I'll pick three winners. I'll randomly scroll and just stop and pick three winners and ship you three hoodies. All right, and you have to leave your size or I'll message you or I'll comment back and uh, let you know you're the winner. I think it'd be fun. Let's do it. All right, I love you all. Thank you all for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. I gotta go eat dinner. Bye everyone.